You know, obviously uh, a successful week for us, um, beginning with a um, enjoyable match at UNO. Obviously, we understand um, what that match means to to us, uh, being that um, the proximity of the two schools. Um, so, anytime you can win a local derby is uh, is a good thing, and so <clears throat> was really pleased um, um, the way we came out. Um, in particular, especially after a, a tough week and a half before that. So I thought it was a great response for the bo from the boys. And um, to be able to follow that up with a victory at Xavier, which is a very tough place to play at, uh, was tremendous. And so we're hoping we can uh, continue to to trend in the right direction and, um, and um, have a positive result against Villanova on Saturday. To see Blake get the recognition that he did, what would that mean? And no, it's good. I, I think uh, not only does it help Blake, but it helps the entire group. Um, you know, we've always spoken about um, our, our, our defensive pressure starts with our center forward uh, to be able to defend uh, in, in the manner that we like to defend in, which is to uh, press high and step our lines up. Uh, we also understand that it, it, it puts us in a situation where you might, if you're not sealing the box appropriately uh, on our opponent's half, it might present itself in more opportunities in our goal. And so to have Blake be acknowledged for what he did between the posts uh, is, is good, but I think it helps all of us, even though it's individually uh, recognizing Blake. How are you able to regroup the guys? I mean, those weren't just losses. Those were devastating losses, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I think what helped us is, number one, reassuring them and, and reminding them that we still believe in them, that we're confident in their ability, uh, but also u utilizing the data to, to kind of show them that we're doing all the right, the right things to, to, to look for results. Uh, it was just like by crazy, crazy, unlucky circumstances that, uh, shoot, I mean, you talk about losses, I, I still – think of the Providence uh, result. And even though it was a tie, uh, it felt like a loss uh, because of the late uh, equalizer that they had with four seconds left. And so, you know, we made sure to, to, during that week to, to encourage our guys, to remind our guys of our worth, uh, to continue to believe in one another, and to back it up with the data that showed that, yes, we were the dominant side. And yes, even though it might have ended up not the way we were looking forward to it, um, we still deserve to win. Does that UNO match emphasize that more, or maybe the next match where you win one nothing because you know, UNO is so emotional? Absolutely, no. UNO being a, a great match in regards to our local derby, it, it, it reinforces it even more because that there's we understand there's more on the line than just the three points. You know, it's it's bragging rights, it's our local rival, it's you know our community, so on and so forth. So for all the right reasons. That match meant so much to us. Is a, you guys on fall break right now? Yes. Is it different, weird, better, good? Yeah. Uh, it, it, um, I think you could look at it both ways. You know, um, obviously the boys put the books down for a little bit. Um, and before they do that, hopefully they're bringing in good report cards, which we, we keep track of. And so, uh, but there could also be that there's more downtime for, for distractions, right? So I think it depends on how you look at it. Uh, for the most part, our guys are. Uh, are pretty good about managing their time and things uh, knock on wood things have been going okay this far so uh, we do enjoy being able to train in the mornings which we can't during school because of our class schedules uh, so that that aspect's been pretty cool what would you attribute to the performance at Xavier that's not really an easy place to win um, let alone control and match in that, in that fashion how, how are you able to put that 90 minutes together you know guys are, are becoming more comfortable being uncomfortable which a lot of times means that you're okay running for the next guy, right? So if somebody drops uh, a little bit in, in, in regards to their defending or somebody misses an assignment um, uh, defensively, then the next guy is able to pick up for that guy that made it, might have slacked off in, the, in that two, three-second window. And so I think we're enjoying uh, the craft of helping each other out and coming together. And so I think – that contributed a lot to our victory at Xavier, which is a very hard place to get a result. I don't know if you were asking me 
Fry stepped in here. What do you want to see over the final couple weeks of the, of the season, of the regular season? Yeah, no, I want to continue. I want to, I want to see a continuing uh, upward trend. You know, uh, since two weeks ago, I felt like we've grown and we've progressed through each match. Um, and we want to continue to see that, to be able to trend upward or forward uh, from each match. Ash is a couple weeks ago framing it around uh, performances at Morrison. Um, are you guys better on the road this year for some reason? Like, what's, <laughs> have you been able to put your finger on why the performance has seemed more consistent through 90 minutes yeah. on the road as opposed to at home? You know, I think it's mental, to be, to be honest with you. I think... At home, there might be a little bit of sense of a little bit too relaxed, if, 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 if you know what I mean. Um, we're on the road. Uh, again, you're, you're with your backs against the ropes. You're at somebody else's house. Um, you got um, people in the stands shouting obscenities at you, and um, you feel like even the referee's against you type thing. And so when you're at home, you seem to be a little bit more relaxed. Uh, but I think there's a fine balance to that. Yeah, I'd rather be at home in front of our fans in this great facility that we have, uh, that we're fortunate to have. I'd rather be able to sleep in my own bed as I prepare for a match. But uh, we got to make sure that we find that balance between, yeah, enjoying um, those good things that come with being able to play at home, but still being able to stay 100% focused to get our result. That 2022 squad was better on the road, too. Are you noticing any like, common threads with the of performance when your backs are against the wall, all the, all the things that you, all the variables that you said are going against. You know, it's, 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 it's funny you bring that up because although we don't like looking back, yeah. um, there's a lot of intricacies that are mirroring 22 to 24, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, again, I, I go back to being able to find a good balance between, hey, yeah, we are at home, but we still have to make sure that we're 100% focused on the job at hand. Yeah, you know, and, and you're not as desperate now. Like you kind of have a little bit of relaxation that can seep in if you allow it to. How do you it, it's 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 the reminders every day, and we've been talking about that quite a bit this week. And that um, we have to continue to to trend and and aspire for more. We can't now rely on the last two victories that we had. We have to continue to grow and get better. Um, and we can't allow anybody to come into Morrison Stadium thinking that it's going to be an easy afternoon. Obviously, it's not the end goal, but just to get the first win in Big East play, what does that do for you guys heading towards the back half of the schedule? It did a lot for us. It did, it, it did uh, wonders for us, and we're hoping to use that momentum to catapult us past Villanova on Saturday.